guys, it's Olivia, and today we're gonna be recipe testing some vegan chocolate chip cookies. I'm gonna try to make these gluten-free as well. So usually you guys only see the perfected version of these videos, and you never get to see all of the craziness that happens. There's always spillage, there's always just stuff everywhere. The sink gets crazy, and I get ingredients all over myself, but you guys never get to see that. So in today's video, you guys get to see all of that. So hopefully you're excited for that. If you are, thumbs up this video, thumbs it up, because it's happening. All right, let's just, let's, let's do it. I'm gonna start with preheating the oven to 350 degrees. That just seems about right. Basically my process is like this. I go online and research a bunch of not so healthy chocolate chip cookie recipes or whatever I'm trying to make. And then I try to sub in different ingredients for it. And it sometimes works out and sometimes it, just doesn't. I'm gonna be using brown rice flour. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, so all of these ingredients are just what's in my pantry. I'm gonna go with about three-fourths of a cup of this stuff. All right, we're gonna be Asian and do some math right now. So, three-fourths of a cup, which means three of these one-fourth, so we're gonna do that. A fourth of a cup of oat flour, and I'm really hoping that this oat flour helps bind everything together. Since these are going to be vegan, there's not going to be egg in it. I am going to use some flax seeds. If you're trying to place eggs in a recipe, usually flax egg or chia seeds really help with the binding. So I blended up here some oats, just blended it. And you know, we're just going to make a mess today. We're just making a mess. Just so, baking powder, I'm gonna do a teaspoon of this. All right. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of baking soda. And <laughs> the mess that is happening right now under me, oh my gosh, all right. So if you guys have been following me for a while now, then you know how much I love coconut sugar. So this is pretty much what I like to use, and one of my guy friends actually said to me, Olivia, you need to have a section in your pantry dedicated to just coconut products because I apparently have a plethora of coconut products. I don't know how true this is. Actually, it probably is pretty true. A fourth of a cup of coconut sugar. Let's make sure we have the right measuring cup. Yes, this one. And we're gonna try to not spill it this time. So far, so good, so far. Ooh. Well, it was, it was close. Let's move on to the wet ingredients. So I've got vanilla. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of vanilla because I just really like vanilla, so I'm not gonna spill it. Okay. I love the smell of this stuff too. At some point, I think I'm also gonna need a whisk. I probably should do that. So we're probably gonna whisk this before I put in any more wet ingredients. Be right back. World's smallest whisk. <laughs> All right, so now that we've whisked it, whisked it, whisked it, is that, is that the right, okay. Also, I did remember chocolate chips go at the end so you don't end up like making it. Yeah. So to bind it, I'm gonna be using flaxseed. I'm gonna go and say probably two teaspoons of flaxseed, which means it'll need four tablespoons of water. And then I'm just gonna let that sit for a bit on the side. So let's do that. Flaxseed, I'm gonna go one and I'm gonna need some water. Got some drinking water. One, two, three, four. Look, guys, I can count to four. So now that I have it, we're gonna just, you know, mix it up a little bit and then let this sit for about five minutes to the side. So that'll be the last thing that I put in before the chocolate chips. Got my coconut oil and it's super hot in California so it's already melted. So I don't have to melt that, that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna put in about three tablespoons of coconut oil. <laughs> three and a half tablespoons of coconut oil. Three and a half of sauce. Applesauce is in the fridge, I'll be right back. The applesauce is moldy so we're not gonna put applesauce in this. I think I'm just gonna put Half a banana. Yeah, let's try that. Bananas are best when they're spotty like this. They taste the best like this. And when they're not spotty yet, they're really starchy and they don't taste good. So wait until they're about 
this amount of spottiness. Half of a banana. Flaxseed mixture has sat for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. So this is what it's looking like right now. Just a giant banana. I might have to go get my mixing mixer, mixing tool. What do you call that? It's still stuck. I think I'm just gonna go in with my hands at this point. With the sleeves, we're gonna go in with the hands. All right. Oh, it feels good. And then lastly, we're gonna come in with some dark chocolate chips. This is 69% dark cocoa. Why is it 69%? Is it because you guys are dirty over there at Enjoy Life? Wow, that's really ironic. I like chocolate chips. We might do a fourth of a cup, we might do a third of a cup. My hands might be really sticky, so. These are also gluten-free, so these cookies should be gluten-free. If I put anything in here that has gluten, let me know, you guys. I'm pretty sure I haven't, but just in case. A third of a cup of dark chocolate chips. So, now that we have our batter, I think it's looking pretty good, guys. I mean, what do you think? I think it's looking pretty good. We're gonna make some cookies, and hopefully they come out right. Good. Oh yeah, it's really good. This could also just be a non-bake cookie recipe. Uh-huh, pretty much. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> and one of the things I like to do is take the coconut oil and dip the spoons in there so that the cookie batter doesn't end up sticking to the spoons. We're gonna make a decent sized cookie, I guess. Let's see. I don't think they're gonna be doing much rising, so maybe about that much. Set alarm for 10 minutes from now. Okay, I set an alarm for 3.37 p.m. She said okay. She said okay, that's hilarious. Does anyone else do this where they talk to Siri to set alarms or is that just me? If you do that too, please comment down below and be like, I talk to Siri too, so that I'm not the only one. All right, be right back. We have cookies. I am really happy with how these turned out, actually. So yeah, I'm gonna let them cool for a little bit and then have a taste test. Those cookies stayed together so well, too. I am so happy. All right, moment of truth, taste test. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. So I would definitely say make these cookies because they're pretty awesome. Success on vegan cookie experimenting, adventuring, testing. Yep. So I'm gonna give my okay stamp of approval on these vegan chocolate chip cookies. So did you guys like this video format? Let me know if you did. Please thumbs up this video. That gives me really, really good feedback so that I'll know whether or not to continue to do videos like this. Hopefully you guys had fun. I had a lot of fun. And you got to see how freaking messy it really gets behind the scenes. So if it was exciting for you and you want to see more of this, you can also always add me on Snapchat where I don't know, I feel like a lot of fun goes on on Snapchat, so you guys should join in on the fun. My Snapchat code is just down below. And also, please leave a comment in the description box below and let me know what the next recipe is that I should show you guys this craziness that happens in the kitchen that I should make. Let me know. Let me know whether you guys want to see some truffles, avocado brownies. So if you're new to my channel or if you've been just come in but haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe down below and I will see you guys next week for a brand new video. I love you guys. Mwah, mwah. Bye.